setting goals is probably something that you already do as a sports performer and it's important that you continue to set goals when you're injured. Sports people are naturally quite goal driven and are often walking towards goals such as increasing their speed or winning the next match or competition. When you're injured sometimes these goals seem too far away to be motivational and that's why it's essential that you set specific goals for injury and rehabilitation. Do you know what your injury and rehabilitation goals are? If you do, great. The resources on the hub will help you to ensure that these are appropriate for you. But if you don't, the resources on the hub will help you to set the right goals. There are lots of different types of goal which you will be exploring in the hub. The first types of goal are long-term and short-term goals. For many people with a sports injury, the long-term goal is a successful return to sport and full fitness. But depending on the nature of your injury, that goal might be quite far in the future. And therefore, you also need to set a series of supporting short-term goals. Having these little targets to aspire to along the path towards the ultimate goal of full recovery can help keep you motivated through the difficult journey that is sports injury. Short-term goals can be thought of as a series of stepping stones towards achieving the long-term goal. These short-term goals might be, for example, goals for each week or goals for each rehab session. Goals can also be split into outcome, performance and process goals. The definitions of these three types of goal relate to competition, but they can also be applied to sport injury rehabilitation. Outcome goals focus on the end product of a match or competition, such as winning a race. In rehabilitation, something like returning to playing for the first team can be thought of as an outcome goal. Performance goals focus on your own self-reference performance rather than the outcome of a competition, such as running a personal best time in a race. In rehabilitation, a performance goal could be something like increasing your post-injury personal best in a particular rehab exercise, such as calf raises. Process goals focus on the processes you will engage in during the performance that will allow you to achieve the other goals, such as focusing on lifting your knees or using self-talk or imagery during a painful physiotherapy session. Each type of goal has its own advantages and disadvantages. Outcome goals are often for many people the main purpose of competition or rehabilitation and therefore they are very important. However, they can be problematic as whether or not we achieve them is often outside of our control. Conversely, we tend to have a higher degree of control over performance and process goals as they involve comparison with ourselves rather than others. Process goals can be useful in setting and developing strategies for successful performance and rehabilitation. You should aim to incorporate all three types of goal into your goal setting. In the hub, you will find some exercises to help you with setting goals, as well as some guidelines on how to set effective goals. I hope you find this useful and I look forward to seeing your feedback in the discussion forum and in your diary.